Okay, so this is an example 10.5. So here we have a group of four piles support 500 mm square column. Okay, so the column size is 500 by 500 eh, the square column. And then the ultimate axial load, so the ULS load acting to the column is 5000 kilonewton. And then the piles are for 50 mm diameter. So we have the circular pile with the diameter of 450 mm and space at 1350 mm center as shown in the next slide. Okay, and then we have the FCK 30 newton per square mm, FYK 500 newton per mm square. And then in this example, they try to use the overall depth of 1 meter and then have an FAT depth of X75 mm. Okay, and then allow the pile cap to extend 375 at the side to give a 2100 mm square cap. Okay, you can see in this slide. Eh? So the dimension of pile cap is 2100 by 2100. And then the center to center or distance of pile is 1350. And then the distance from the uh, center line, center of the pile to the edge of the pile cap is 375. Okay, and then the column dimension is 500, 500. So from this, we can get the alpha V by using this equation. Okay, the alpha V is 290 mm. Okay, so at the right side, you can see this figure to make the dimension in the, the reinforcement bar detail. Later, after we do the design, and then you can get the same value with this. Okay, first we need to design for the main tension reinforcement. Okay, because now we have two or four piles, so we need to cut the section at the middle so that we need to design first. We need to design for the two two pile acting to the column. Okay, so now and then uh, in this uh, by using this equation, S equal to T divided by two divided by 0 87 FYK and equal to N multiplied by L divided by 4D multiplying into 7 FYK so N is the ultimate load acting to the column 5000 kilonewton mm -hmm. multiply with the L because the distance call pile to pile is 2L so L is 1350 divided by 2 okay so and then if I give that X75 so from this we have 2,216 square mm. This is the AS required. Okay, AS required for the uh, two pile. So now we have four pile. So we need to multiply this value with this two multiply by AS. So that for 432 mm square to support for the each direction. Okay. And then as the pile are uh, spaced at three times the pile diameter, this, this reinforcement may be distributed uniformly across the section. So it provides 15 diameter 20 with the area of 4710. Okay, 4710. 4710 is the total area of how to get this. 4710 is the area of one reinforcement bar with diameter of 20 multiplied by 15. And then after that, we need to calculate the uh, steel ratio of this reinforcement bar. So we get that 0 0.26 is higher as compared to 0 0.5 because 0 0.5 is the minimum reinforcement bar for the uh, concrete with the concrete grade uh, with the for the concrete grade 30. Okay, after that check for the shear because we have uh, NED is 5000 so the shear force acting to 1 Pile is 5000 divided by 2, so we have 2500 kN. Okay, and then we need to get the VDVD as the, the, the shear force design. So this 2500 kN multiplied by the enhanced shear divided by 2D. Okay, so that we have 414 kN. And then after that, calculate the VRDC. So the VRDC is the, the shear strength of the concrete without reinforcement by using this equation. Where k is 1 plus square root of 200 divided by d. Okay, and then from this we have the k is 1.49 less than 2. And then the rho, rho is the ratio of steel ratio. Uh, steel ratio of the pile cap. And then VRDC we can get by using this equation 0.12k multiplied by 100 multiplied by rho ck. 
power 1 over 3. So we have 0 0.35 Newton per mm square. So this is the, the, the shear strength of the concrete. And then we are DC minimum. We use the 0 0.035 multiplied by k power 1.5 multiplied by square root of ck. We have 0 0.35 Newton. So we take this, this the value is we take the minimum 1. Because the this value is equal, so we take 1, 0 0.35 meter per square mm. And then uh, the shear resistance of the concrete is given by BRDC multiplied by BD, so 0 0.95 multiplied by B, because the width of the pile cap is 2100 mm, multiplied with the effective depth of the uh, pile cap, X75. And then this, the result will be in Newton. So divided by 1000, we have the kilonewton. So you can see here, the shear resistance of concrete is 643 kilonewton, and but the VED is only for 414 kilonewton. So this is sufficient. So you can see here this how to get the the PRDC eh, 0.36. The next step to check for the punching shear. Okay, first we need to calculate the maximum shear resistance. Okay, so U is the perimeter of column because we have the column with dimension of 500 by 500 the square column so that 500 multiplied by 4 and then effective depth x75 and then fck30 so that we have the vrd maximum is uh, 9240 kilonewton and then we compare with the total load applied to the the column it's because the punching shear need to support for the total load acting from the column so this highest compared to 5000 kilonewton so consider this for the punching shear and thank you